they are both ready. Brian Jones has stepped on the court. Look at him coming in here, game face on, throws his unique energy drink up there in the uh, drink holder. Man on a mission. So right here, Sean Anderson would have to double dip Brian to be the victor for the weekend. So Brian is in what I like to call the catbird seat. All he has to do is win this match, and it's done. Brian gets first place. You're going to go two down and back. Two down and backs. All right. That's fine. Brian has uh, been a little while since Brian has got to play because he did, you know, win the winners final. So they had had a few matches going on while they finished up the losers uh, bracket, and uh, so he wants to have uh, two down and backs, which means he's going to be able to throw 16 bags instead of eight bags, just to kind of loosen himself back up and get back in the groove here, get, get a feel for where he's at again. So Sean is really going to be fighting an uphill battle. He has to win out the first match, and then he's got a. Then they're on an even playing field. They both have one loss. And then at that point, it'll be winner take all. So Sean has a little bit more of a battle than Jonesy does. Luis, um, you know, you say two down the backs, where's your arm out? The underarm throwing action is actually the natural motion for your arm. If you were throwing overhand like you are pitching a baseball, that's going to be an unnatural action, and that would actually wear your arm out. This stuff right here is easy peasy. Yeah, these guys have been in, they, they, they play all hours of the day sometimes, so it's not going to wear them out. We got uh, Drew Brown up here with, uh, while these guys uh, finish up their second down and back. Uh, just uh, Talk about your run, your third place finish, man. Uh, oh. You were hitting some huge shots yeah. right there, but you couldn't get a break to make them go. It looked like you were just hammering the air mails, but uh, they didn't want to fall for you right there. What happened? I ran out of gas. That, that game right before Brian Jones, man, he, he shot amazing. And uh, it was a long game. I played long games all day, and yeah, good runs that. come to an end sometimes. That's right. Well. Third place ain't nothing to hang your hat about it. Oh, yeah. And yeah, they, uh. My goal was top five when I got here, so well, third place. Goal complete. Almost a chance to get into uh, the double dip situation. Came up short against Brian. Both these competitors, I I don't hang my hat at all, but my two losses are the two people playing. Hey. I'm fine with that's, that. Hey, that's exactly right. And, uh. You played really well. We, we enjoyed having you up here. You got a, uh, a lot of, uh, center court action today. <laughs> Uh, that I did. You only get center fun. court action whenever you're playing well, so congratulations. Yes. It was fun. I appreciate it, guys. What's uh, what's your prediction here on this one? Um, Double dip by Sean, or you think he's going to close it out in one or two games? I believe uh, that Jones is really hungry. I, and, I agree. Uh, I, I, I feel he's, like that I, I'm going to lean that, that direction in this. He's been very hungry for a major win. He's I been agree. disappointed on some of his major finishes uh, earlier in the season and kind of complained about his game and said, I need to stop uh, just practicing when I'm when I'm in an event. <laughs> and uh, I think he has uh, put in a few more bag time during the week to get him some more practice, and it's paying off for him this weekend. So I'm, I, yeah. I'm going to lean towards Jones, but I tell you, I, I have no biased uh, uh, pick right here. Uh, both of these players are great players and uh, oh, good friends yeah. of mine. They're definitely easily top. 50 players, if not less than that, top 20 maybe. Yeah, they're, these uh, guys, uh, they both be earned that status. Yep. Definitely. My pick, I, I think Sean will give him the first one. I think Brian will sneak up on him the second one. All right, hey, that's a good prediction. That's, good that's, prediction. That's my prediction. Is this live now? We good? Yep, it is now live. They have started. Jonesy with the blue bags. Okay, we got Sean Anderson's going to have the red bags. And we are underway. Sean and one back here in the back. Uh, he is wow. he is already Mr. Crucial, but however, he managed to get his other three in the hole to go up one to nothing. I tell you, that was one of the biggest one point scores I've ever seen because it looked like he was really in a hole right there, and then no pun intended. And then no. whenever he ends up making that, he actually nets one out of it. Uh, huge, huge shot right there. Yeah, you always think when you have one off the back that it, that's the end of the end of the world. But if you get your other three in the hole. Nine's and, not too shabby. No, not at all. When I throw, I try to. Um, my goal is to get eight, so two in and two on. 
anything better than that is just gravy. That's right. So these guys are just attacking the hole. Yeah. Oh, looks like we're going to have to get a rake. Yeah, uh, Mr. Matt is up there helping us out on the rake. Uh, Ooh, I think, uh, and a miss to the left. Jonesy thinks about it, goes for the airmail, and boom. Four bagger, but for only two points. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, barely missed it. And, uh, I was surprised he shot the airmail right there. I thought he might try a little bit of a dig shot, but he knows his game better than I do. So um, he knew that he he threw far enough back, more kind of like a 2 o'clock on that hole, that he wasn't going to take Sean's with him. And a block back from Jonesy right out the gate. Sean wants to go over and goes off the back of the board. Here comes Jonesy with an airmail. Ooh, and tries to drag the other one, but flips it to the other side of the hole. Almost creating a backboard. Mm. Sean uh, knocks his bag in the hole. I'm like we're gonna see a little slide in right here. I think he was trying to pull that bus back bag, but uh, he, he just, did. But he didn't want to miss the bag in his hand, so he wanted to be so sure of it. So he knew if I'm going to miss, I'm still going to make this one in my hand. Absolutely. So we've got one point for Brian. This is three to one. Doesn't look like anybody's running away with this one too quick. Not right off the hand. If you're just tuning in, guys. This is the match of the day. This is it. This is the championship match. You got Brian Jones versus Sean Anderson, Illinois versus Mississippi. The score is Brian Jones 3, Sean Anderson 1. And as you see, the guys are on the money. Bag for bag, falling in the hole. It's the race to see who misses first. I think both of these players respect each other's airmail so much that they're not even they're not even attempting the block in the blocking game. They're just no. going ahead and airmail. They're just going ahead and sliding it in. Jonesy with a four bagger. Yeah, and two Jones, more points. I noticed Jonesy on his inside arm, which whenever he's down here, we call the inside arm the arm over top of the board. And uh, when he's on the inside arm, he hasn't missed a bag in like the last three frames. No. Straight to the hole. Sean with a block bag. Yeah, I think he. Uh, Oh. He's going to test the waters here, and we'll see if uh, Jones' airmail is still on so far. So good. Sean going up and over his own bag. Jonesy with a rare miss. Sean in. Jonesy looking to drain this last one, and it's uh -oh. off the back. One a little, a little deep and another one a little shallow. This might hurt a little bit. Oh, wow. wow. One point. And at the end of the day, I think – all he was trying to do is just get one point and get first throw. Get that lead throw. That's what he all he wanted. But once the opportunity opened up for him to get more, he's pretty disappointed in his last bag right there. So Sean with the lead throw, right into the hole. Jonesy with the follow up. Jones got a bag leaning back there. Go for the airmail, see if we can't drag it in. And all the nice. bags go in. Excellent airmail. Sean leaning on the hole again. Jonesy, airmail. Oh, missed. That's the first bag I've seen him miss whenever he's been throwing inside arm. And I, it wasn't an open hole, but kind of threw his little groove off there a little bit, having to throw it up for an airmail. Yeah. Washing it out, I'd like to thank all 3,600 people of you for watching us here live from the Foley Sports Tourism Complex in Foley, Alabama. You are watching the Foley Major, the singles championship match. Jonesy in the catbird seat. Sean Anderson has to double dip. Jonesy is up. Five to two at the moment. 